Hello, so this is my documentary on the junior leadership course food pantry at Duluth Middle School. So the purpose of this project was to identify a community issue that's been going on and that is food insecurity in our students as well as their families. A lot of the students in the JLC junior leadership core saw that some of their friends during lunch would ask their other friends like, hey, are you going to eat that? And if they said no, then they would ask if they could have it. And not only would those students eat the extra food, but they would also pack it in their book bags to take home. So some of the JLC found that food insecurity was a huge issue in the school. So they decided with Mr. Grant, who is the JLC instructor, to construct a food pantry at school so that not only students, but their families can take food home and so they won't go um, hungry. So the key stakeholders are Mr. Grant, who is the JLC instructor, obviously the students in JLC, the principal, Ms. Kinchin, as well as some major community partners, such as the Korean Church of Atlanta, which is on the bottom left. They are one of our major um, donators and contributors to the food pantry, as well as Reconcile Church, Twelve Stone Church, and some large big box companies such as Aldi and Walmart. Um, the organizational events that have been going on, um, we've been promoting at school. You'll see on the top middle, there's a flyer for the JLC students to ask their friends to donate to the pantry, as well as the community. The students in JLC also um, wrote letters and emails to the community asking for donations in which a lot have supplied and they're um, grateful for. The vision of this project is to reduce food insecurity at school in the students so that they can perform better at school and they can attend school more without having to worry about where they're going to get their next meal. Some solutions um, for the project was getting this food to the families and the students so the students can either take small bags of canned goods home or um, in their book bags or the families can come to the school email Mrs. Horn, who is in the middle uh, picture right there, who is our parent liaison coordinator. She will take the information, um, let Mr. Grant know that, hey, I have a family that's in need. The students and Mr. Grant will box all the food and as well as basic hygiene items for the families. The box goes to Mrs. Horn's office and then the families will meet her there and they'll pick up the boxes or she will escort the box outside of school if the parents are worried that they're going to be embarrassed about having these box goods. So that is the vision. Um, the solution, again, is trying to get these families food so that none of their children and family members starve so that they can be at school and perform better. The organizations through a lot of face-to-face -face meetings with Mr. Jin, who is the pastor of the Korean Church of Atlanta, Mr. Grant and Ms. Kinchin. The expected outcome of this is, again, to reduce food insecurity. And the impact is that same thing, um, just address food insecurity in our community. You know, we have a high immigrant population, um, a high low income poverty level families at our school and within our community. And sometimes, you know, these families, they um, have to decide, do I have this money to pay the bills or to buy groceries? And sometimes, you know, they have to choose the bills and utilities over feeding their families. So this is just one way for our school to reach out to our community to provide those services and help in need. And you can see on the top right, Miss um, Kinchin and Mr. Grant put out on social media, like we have food, email us now or even call the school so that we can provide these services to the families. So we hope that with this um, middle school JLC food pantry, other middle schools around the area can create their own food pantries and help reduce food insecurity throughout our community.